Thanks, Tim. At the Division II level, Southern Arkansas at home taking on Southwestern Oklahoma State. We'll pick this one up in the first half. Mule Riders striking first. Hayden Mallory going to former Parkway Panther Jared Lancaster. He takes it in for the score. SAU on the board first. It is seven to nothing. But the duo wasn't done there. Mallory airing it out. This time, Lancaster making the grab on a 26-yard scoring strike. That put the Mule Riders ahead 14-0. But the defense came to play in this one as well. Tyler Marr pump fakes here, but surely didn't fool Lorenzo Watkins. Says thanks for that. Takes it back the other way for the pick six to extend SAU's lead. Mule Riders going on to win this one 42-20. Jory Perrys was up in Magnolia for this one and has more. Jory? A solid performance overall for Southern Arkansas today. The defense really setting the tone early, obviously having that pick six, but they kept the Bulldogs out of the red zone until that final drive in the first half, which ended in a little bit of controversy after Antonio Washington gets called for an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty, celebrating briefly after a sack. The Bulldogs would then score on the very next play, making it 28-6 at the half, but the Mule Riders able to stay the course, adding a few more scores there in the second half, and overall, Coach saying that he was pleased with the team effort in this one. I mean, we're getting better as a football team. Uh, you know, we're a young football team in a lot of aspects, and, and we got guys that are growing every day out here, and that, that's what we wanted to see. I mean, obviously, he said he had a choreographed dance, and, uh, you know, I have a hard time with, you know, celebrating a little bit and a little bit of a dance on a, on a big sack. Uh, that's hard for me, but, uh, yeah, they called it, and there's nothing I can do about it, but, uh, you know, hopefully we can get all that corrected. So the Mule Riders now 4-1 and one on their season with this win over Southwestern Oklahoma State. Next week, they hit the road to take on Northwestern Oklahoma State. Kickoff for that game is set for 2 o'clock. For now, reporting here at Rip Powell Field, I'm Jory Perrys. I'll send it back to you.